Okay, Today we're going to dissect a chicken for Mr. Crumple's class. So we're dissecting a chicken, and um, just before we do, just before we look at what we've got, we've got um, a quick diagram of a chicken wing. Um, over here we have the humerus. We've got the ulna right there on the bottom, and the radius on top. This part here is the same is the equivalent of the wrist bones of the chicken. The Let's see, um, we're gonna, these bones are all present in humans, um, as John will show you in his arm. We have his humerus right here, his radius, and his ulna. We're now going to look at the uh, chicken that we've dissected. We've got the epithelial tissue. Right um, here. Oh, here. Here, the filia tissue has been touched. Is right here. Uh, right here. We have the epithelial tissue is basically the barrier between the the inside of the chicken and the outside of the chicken. It'll keep stuff out of the chicken that needs to be outside of the chicken. Um, now we have. This is pretty thick. Because it's the outside skin. It has to because it's a necessary barrier, and being thick means that it keeps all the bad stuff out. But doesn't have much move movability. It's also pretty elasticy because it's a chicken. Has to be able to be chicken. Okay. Okay. Now it's connective tissue. The connective tissue right is right here. This white line right here. Let's see if you can get a better look. Pretty close, John. We've got the connective tissue right here. The connective tissue is connecting the muscle right here to the skin. So basically, the connective tissue. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now we're gonna look at the muscles. The muscles are this thing right here. Used for movement. It's used for movement, movement of the bone in this case, which we'll show you next. Bone? Bone? This? This is a bone. This is a bone. Basically, muscles can only contract. So that when one muscle contracts, the other will... Uh, Muscles can contract and uh, relax. So while, say, this one contracts and its um, opposite muscle relaxes, it'll move in one direction, and then the opposite will happen when... and vice versa. Okay. Joint. 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 Now we're going to look at the joint, which we have right here. No, no, no. no. Oh, yeah, that's a joint. A yeah. really clear joint. Basically, the joint is... Uh, uh, it's just a beautiful joint. Okay, <laughs> now we've uh, we've already now we need to look at a tendon. Our tendon. Right behind, behind. Find it eventually. Right here. Our tendon is right here. No, yeah, It's connecting um, muscle to bone, thus allowing the muscle and bone to that, thus allowing the muscle to move the bone. <laughs> So, the bones are basically just the structural system of the body, or the chicken. The uh, it's keeping it the chicken shape. The tendons attach the muscle to the bone so that the muscle can move the bone. The ligaments attach the bone to the bone so that it stays all generally together. And the cartilage. Have we got an example of cartilage in here? Cartilage. The white stuff at the top. We got a little bit of cartilage on the. Uh, yeah, we got a bit of cartilage that cushions and uh, stops the joint from rubbing. So yeah, here's our chicken. Oh, now we gotta rip it apart. <laughs>